Hello children, welcome to the mathematics class. Today's topic is on application of integrals that is the area under the curve and the differential equations. To start with, we first revise the synopsis and then we go to the problems. So in this video, we go with the synopsis first area under the curve whenever you find whenever f a function y is equal to f of x is defined in a, an interval a comma b closed interval area under the curve the curve equation i mean the curve graph may be like this between x equals a to x equals b Starting from x equals a to x equals b, area under this particular curve is given by the formula integral a to b f of x dx, where y is a dependent variable, x is an independent variable. The same is with respect to y axis when you take up. So, area under the curve, x is equal to function of y, area under the curve with respect to y axis is given by integral c to d g of y dy coming to the next one area under the curve y is equals to f of h of x let me take up y is equals h of x is a graph where it is starting from x equals a to x equals b some portion of the curve is a positive some portion of the curve may be negative in such a case we divide the total interval into parts so, x equals to c, for example, x equals a to x equals to c, it is positive and c to b, it is a negative. In such a case, we take it as a, uh, we take it as a modulus value so that it will be easy. I mean, while after calculation, you take modulus gives us uh, the numerical value. Integration from a to c modulus h of x dx integral c to b modulus h of x dx gives us the original value. That means after evaluation of integral, take the modulus. Coming to next area between the curves. And whenever you are given the two curves, y is equal to f of x and y equals g of x, between x equals a to x equals b, area under the curve y equals f of x minus area under the curve y equals to g of x. Area under the curve y is equal to f of x is nothing but this one. Minus area under this curve eliminate this particular portion gives us area between the two curves between the two ordinates x equals a to x equals b is given by integration a to b f of x dx minus g of x. Of course, here f of x is greater than r is equal to g of x for all x belongs to closed interval a comma b. If one curve crosses another curve, we take the modulus as like the previous one. Coming to the next one, suppose y equals f of x is the curve like this and y is equal to g of x curve like this one and both of them x equals a to x is equal to b. If you have a split the area, then we can split the area into two particular parts, a to c area under this curve and c to b area under this curve. So, this portion, this portion, separately we calculate and we add, that gives us the total area. Coming to next one, <clears throat> integral as a limit of a sum. Uh, I hope in the definite integral, so we had a discussion about this one. There is a formula here. If f of x is a continuous function defined in the closed interval a comma b, Limit n tends to infinity sigma r equals 0 to n minus 1, 1 by n function of r by n is equals to 0 to 1 f of x dx. And uh, suppose <coughs> there are certain uh, formulae, of course, in the same the limit value, if you have limit n tends to infinity sigma r is running with uh, 0 to k n, 1 by n function of r by n can be replaced by 0 to k, whatever be the n multiple, 0 to k, the function of r by n replaced by x into dx. This is how we define the, the function here. Coming to the next one, 
there are certain formulae which uh, saves our time if you remember the formulae then memorize these formulae then uh, you can evaluate the problems and you can save your time here and those timings are area bounded by the curve y square is equal to 4ax and its latest rectum is given by 8a square by 3 and area of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equals 1 is nothing but pi a b and area between the curves so y square equals 4ax and x square is equals 4ab for by is nothing but 16a square by 3 16 ab by 3 sorry 16 ab by 3 so y square is equal to 4 ax is a parabola looks like looks like this one and x square is equal to 4 by parabola looks like this one this is actually the area under between the curves is nothing but this one so therefore this point to this point to find the find the point of intersection area under this curve minus area under this curve we calculate we simplify you will be getting 16 ab by 3 Coming to the next one, area bounded by one of the curve, either y is equal to sin ax or y is equal to cos ax with x axis in one arc, one arc. So therefore, either sin x curve, you take up like this one, okay. Therefore, each arc area is equal to 2 by a, this is 2 by a, magnitude I am writing it. Even if you take up the cos also, it looks like this one, the cos graph. So, this area 2 by A, 2 by A and 2 by A, etc. This is about the area bounded by the trigonometric function and y -ax, x axis. Coming to the next differential equations. A few points we discuss of the differential equation. You know, an equation involving dependent variable, independent variable, and the derivatives of dependent variable with respect to independent variable is called the differential equation. Okay, is called differential equation. As an example, x divided by dx plus y is equal to x cube. As there is a differential coefficient is there and therefore it is called differential equation. Coming to the degree and uh, the, <coughs> sorry, ordinary types of the differential equation. There are two kinds of the differential equations which are ordinary and partial. Ordinary means ODE and uh, partial differential equation PDE. <coughs> if you consider an equation, a differential equation with res all the derivatives are with reference to one independent variable, I say it is called ordinary differential equations. Suppose the derivatives or differential coefficients are existing with reference to one or more independent variables, then I say it is called one or more, more than one independent variable, then I say it is called a PDE, partial differential equation. Coming to order and degree of the differential equation. The order of the highest order derivative which occurs in the differential equation is called order of the differential equation. Okay, let me take up the notation y1 means dy by dx, y2 means d square y by dx square, y3 means dq y by dx cube, etc. So, now search for whether y1 existing, y2 existing, y3 existing and continuation like this one, the highest order of the differential coefficient which occurs in the differential equation is called the order of the differential equation. The order of the highest derivative, order of the highest derivative which occurs in the differential equation is called order of the differential equation. Coming to the degree, what is meant by degree? Degree means the exponent or the power of the highest order derivative. Okay, so the power or the exponent of highest order derivative which occurs in the differential equation after it is made free from the radicals and expressed as in the form of a polynomial as far as derivatives is concerned is called degree of the differential equation. So, first of all, there must not be any radical powers. That means no fractional power should be existing it. 
and at the same time no special functions should exist like sin inverse e power of dy by dx and cos of dy by dx like that should not exist that means it should be free from the radicals and special functions and it should be like a polynomial as far as derivatives is concerned then in such a case the power or the exponent of the highest order derivative is called the degree of the differential equation coming to yes the example here 1 plus 3 times dy by dx whole power 1 by 3 is equal to 4 times dq y by dx cube as there is a fraction here by removing the fraction cubing on both sides you'll be getting as a polynomial in derivatives is concerned and the highest order is a 3 for which exponent is 3 and this is the degree of the differential equation and third order is nothing but third order differential equation coming to solution of the first order first degree differential equation and uh, there are different uh, methods are there to find the solution of the differential equation one of the method is nothing but variables separable whenever a differential equation is given f of x into dy or dg of y into dx we separate the variables uh, y variables on one side and x variables on one side dependent variable and independent variable separately we rewrite uh, and then integrate on both sides and add a constant and thereby we find the solution this method of doing the prop i mean getting the solution of a differential equation is called a variable separable method and of course sometimes a differential equation may be given in this particular fashion may be converted to variable separable form by assuming that ax plus by plus c is equal to some uh, parameter some other uh, variable t and thereby we can reduce it into variable separable form Coming to homogeneous differential equation. A differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of y by x is called homogeneous differential equation. While solving the differential homogeneous differential equation, there is a specific method is there. That is by assuming that y by x is equal to v. That means y is equal to vx. dy by dx can be replaced by v plus x dv by dx thereby this uh, i mean homogeneous differential equation can be converted to variable separable form and thereby we can solve the differential equation and the one more important uh, uh, differential equation is a linear differential equation and a differential equation of the type dy by dx plus a py is equal to q is called a linear differential equation in y <coughs> where q is not equal to 0 it is called non-homogeneous and q is equal to 0 is called homogeneous linear differential equation and thereby where p is a function of x and q is a function of x of course if this is a differential equation integrating factor to get the solution of this differential equation to be calculated as e power integral p dx hope you know what is meant by integrating factor uh, a factor which helps us in getting a solution of the differential equation to make it a perfect square perfect uh, differential that is uh, said to be called a integrating factor thereby the solution of this differential equation is given by y into integrating factor equals to q multiply by integrating factor dx plus constant where p comma q are constants of functions of x only Whereas the same thing, if you just interchange x and y variables, dependent to independent, independent to dependent, only the names are being changed here. x is a dependent variable, y is independent variable. This is actually the concept you get it. Same concept you can follow. Okay. And there are certain time saving results are there, which helps us in simplifying certain problems here. Equation of the family of lines passing through horizon, equation of the family of straight lines passing through horizon is given by y is equal to mx. And equation of the family of non-horizontal lines in a plane is given by ax plus by is equal to c where a not equal to 0. And the equation of the family of non-vertical lines is ax plus by is equal to c, where b not equal to 0. 
and of course x square plus y square is equal to a square represents an equation of a circle with a different radii center at the origin a family of the circles as a varies you get the concentric circles and these are another time saving process the by eliminating parameter from the expression of the differential equation is formed whose solution is a given expression you will be given an expression with the parameters arbitrary constants as c1 and c2 to eliminate those two and to form a differential equation you need to differentiate twice thereby you can form a differential equation that differential equation directly you can get it this way y2 minus a plus b multiply by y1 plus a into b multiply by y as if a comma b are the roots of a quadratic equation you can write down the same way this is an extension for the three numbers y3 minus a plus b plus c and a p plus b c plus c a into y1 minus a b c into y equals to zero same model when you have y is equal c1 x power m c2 x to the power of n the differential equation can be written as x square y2 minus m plus n minus 1 x into y1 plus m n y is equal to zero and in the complex form when y is equal to c1 a cos x c1 cos a x plus c2 sin b x nothing but harmonic solution of the differential equation y y2 plus a square y is equal to zero these are about uh, some of the important points which uh, saves our time in solving differential equation i hope uh, you got the point here and uh, there are some other uh, important results which you can uh, solve the differential equation by converting the given differential equation to total derivatives x wherever you find x into dy y into dx can be written in the form of differential of xy and then you can integrating it on both sides so that uh, from here xy can be written as integral of x multiply by dy plus y multiply by dx etc same way x dy minus y dx by x square can be written as differential of y by x and in the reverse order y dx minus x dy by y square equals differential of y by x and tan inverse of y by x is nothing but this one etc right hope you understood the logics of all these uh, total derivatives and you can apply any number of functions like this one i mean sin inverse log xy etc right now i would like to conclude uh, these uh, formulae in this uh, video in this uh, next video we continue with the uh, problems related with uh, area under the curve and differential equations thank you